Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Good Saturday morning and welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We bring you all the information you need on hunting, fishing, boating, and the outdoors. And here he is, veteran of 17 years on the outdoor broadcast waves, Larry Ray. All right, John Gordon. How about that? All right. How about that? It's a real contest, folks, out there. I mean, between uh, Frank and John, or is it John and Frank? We haven't decided yet, you know, but uh, it was good, John. Both of y'all did wonderful jobs. Ad-libbing, no notes, right off the top of their head. Wow. All right, we got a guy coming in. We're going to close out the show. We've left Orlando, left Ron Wong down there. This is our next Oriental Connection here that we have on Outdoors with Larry Ray. This guy has been a friend of mine uh, 30 years probably. And uh, when I was the outdoor editor, the fourth outdoor editor at the Commercial Appeal in over 100 years, uh, one of the first people that I had a chance to uh, get to know uh, was his brother because I I, I do do Toyota sometimes. But uh, you you know uh, Harris Kwan, if you're going to have some place you want to take that Toyota, if you take it to anybody else, there's something wrong with you. You need to take it to Harris Kwan. But uh, if you want to know about fishing uh, and you don't want to know about, uh, I don't know, these guys, both of them, uh, they got the best good-looking families I've ever seen when they get together. And they know how to cook a meal. That's my good friend, Peanut Kwan. Good morning. Good morning, Larry. Hey, thanks for dropping by. I know that you're a busy man. You you were just telling the story about your real name and how you got to be peanut off the air, which we won't go into right now because I want somebody to go to the website and they'll win a product, a prize, probably a peanut craft lure gift pack as he's given away thousands over the years, most of them to me, it seems like. But uh, tell our listeners out there, I don't know how you do what you do. Now, you're officially retired from the previous job you had right yes that's correct okay so now you have more time to do more so you have a what talk about your circuit i'm actually working harder now that i've retired than when i was actually working so it's something's wrong here um you have a a fishing circuit yes i have yes with our fishing lure company years ago about eight years exactly is our eighth season in our circuit trail Uh uh-huh We've had uh, a lot of locals. I used to fish the trails here. Yes, and, you did. And they said, we don't have a trail here. Since media's gone, fishers and men didn't come around the reservoirs. Um, uh, who's that? Team trails? Yes. No, nothing was here. So yeah. uh, I got with Danny Carter, who I've fished many tournaments with, and, and uh, I said, hey, let's let's do a trail. We're getting the demand for it. Let's do one trail. Let's just do a reservoir trail. We'll like do, you had plenty of time. Yeah. Sardis, <laughs> Andy Grenada. <laughs> yeah. Six tournaments. We do a championship in the year. And, um, now we're, we've got two trails, actually. you got two trails. Two trails now. Uh, one's the Tri-State Trail. We do two lakes in Arkansas, two in Tennessee, and two in Mississippi. The two we've been doing in Arkansas has been Horseshoe. Uh, we went to Old Town last year, which is uh, down south of Helena. Yes. Uh-huh. And then we do two at McKellar here in Memphis. And then McKellar. We, uh, McKellar's been on fire lately. See, there, people you, just don't it, realize. It's been on fire. And we shouldn't tell them that. Yeah. You've done two at McKellar. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Tunica Moon Lake on the reservoir, on the river, on the riverside. Our other trail is the North Mississippi Trail. We yes. Do, we do two on on the east side, which is Pickwick and Bay Springs. Uh huh. We do two reservoirs. This year it was Sardis and Grenada. Mm-hmm. And then we do two on the river. So we, we cover all of North Mississippi with this trail. Uh, usually Tunica. This year we went to Ferguson on one. and um, That's a long way. It's a long way. But yeah. Tunica, Moon Lake, and, and Moon Lake's been on fire. I'll tell you, the high water this year has hurt a lot of it, but guys are catching fish. You know, so now you you do, Are you is your season still going, or do you take an uh, end? Is it over? No, we're still rolling. As a matter of fact, we've still got uh, two more, actually three and one that's okay. left. And then you have an end of the the end of the year. The end of the year classic. And this year we're going to Lake Chico, which is on the other side. Oh, yeah, Lake Village uh, in Arkansas, um, southeast Arkansas. I've Uh, never been there, but. Oh, uh, beautiful lake. Beautiful. I drove down and looked at it a couple of weeks ago, talked to the ranger down there. Yes. Um, Last year we did uh, Pickwick in our championship, and we've been averaging around 40 to 50 boats in in championship. We we have about two to 300 guys that actually fish with us throughout the year. 
championship last year, we paid out sixteen thousand dollars, and for a, a wow. small trail, that's a lot of money. For, but championship to me, it's for the guys that have stuck with us all year. Yes, and we try to make it something big. At check in, we feed them, we cater to them, and this is well, this you know is, how to cater, you yeah. know how to feed them. I well, know that too. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this year, uh, Lake Village is actually feeding us this year. Really? So it's going to be nice. They uh, they think they're doing like a six- or seven-course meal for so us. So they're wanting you there. Oh, yeah, they want us there. And they, they, they cater us. And usually wherever we go, that the towns do us. We did Pickwick, Savannah stepped forward, and they helped out, or Hardin County stepped Well, you're up. bringing in some business. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the yeah. guys and their boats and everything like that stay in there and everything. So this is your eighth year, you say? Yeah, uh, eighth season. And so you also, uh, you're still... Making lures? I mean, uh, out of your house? and uh, Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> work, working on a lot of things. Uh, Sportsman's Warehouse is, a, is a, one of our biggest customers. One of our sponsors, and, yeah. And uh-huh. this year, um, the the fishing manager down in South Haven, Shane, uh-huh. never, uh, people around here know him. Shane's the fishing manager in yes, South Haven. Yes, he is, yeah. He did a little gig a couple of years ago at corporate, and, uh-huh. and he, go, he told me, he goes, I'm going to take care of you when I get down there. And sure enough, their first order was more than they've ever ordered. <laughs> Total. <laughs> well, I'm glad he left for yeah. a while, and he's yeah. back. And he's back. Uh, but um, I'm in I'm in their uh, internet sales, and I'm understanding in 41 of their stores, however many they got. Yeah. Uh, we just sent products to a store in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. Really? So um, they're using a lot of our jigs up there for walleye. And, and you don't have a big physical plant where your jigs are. No, it's seasonal. We looked at a plant, and it, I just couldn't justify it. Um, so it's primarily your. It's this is a family business. It's a family business. It's in, I mean, your kids yeah. have been in there. Yeah, yeah. Your, your mom parents. and dad are still. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Kwan, if you've not been to Harris Kwan's dealership, you just need to go out there and talk to Peanut's dad for a while. And if you don't leave with a smile on your face, uh, you'll you'll understand that. And uh, of course, is. Uh, well, we, we mentioned Connie, so we got to mention Mary uh, in those part. And they just had a big party, that, which I missed, uh, for Christelle's uh, doctor. Yes. Uh, as an now yes. from, uh, uh, from Harris's daughter. So, but y- you got to love this, uh, Peanut. I mean, uh, the love of fishing, was that something uh, growing up in the grocery store business down, down in where you uh, – North Mississippi? We're or? from the Mississippi Delta. Yeah. We get it a lot. How's the Chinese guy get a southern accent? And I'll talk to people on the phone. I'll show <laughs> up. We and they go. said, where's that guy I talked to on the phone? I said, this is me. And, yeah. and they realized, well, wait a minute, you don't look like you sound. I said, well, what am I supposed to sound like? Is what so this is, this is why uh, I still believe there is a market for a, 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 a TV show. I'm going to talk to him about this because you you wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, I I it's been on the plate for a while. It's called the, the, like Rage Tail. It's going to take a while to get this in order. And you and, and you would call it. it right. Tell them what you would call it. It's going to be Redneck Asian Outdoors. And, and there we, you go. And we're working <laughs> on it. We actually have a Facebook page. Uh, went on went on the Facebook and um, to try to get a, a, spot a following or a, and, a, a sponsor. Well, we requested the name and they said that could be racist to some. I said, well, if it's not racist to me, how could it be racist to anybody? You know? True, that's a, so, it's your own show. It's my own show. So yeah. um, it, it's R E D N three C K. First thing we could think of uh, <laughs> N three C K. All right, Asian, Asian Outdoors. So uh, we need followers, guys. We we. The show we want to do when we get there is we want to do something informative, but we want to do something that's funny also. It's funny, and and and, and you can do that because uh, uh, you you have stories that uh, you can relate to, and you have plenty of friends along that line. But I take it that uh, who taught who taught you how to fish? Who was? Believe it or not, bass fishing is is my passion now. Back in the day, it was rim fishing. It was. It was any kind of fishing back. Any in the day. kind of fishing. My wife's father used to fish BASS. Yes. Uh-huh. And when we were dating, she said, you want to fish? I said, sure. I grabbed my little Zepco 404. Is, I, was ready, a... I was ready to go. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. And uh, my tackle box was an ice cream jug, a gallon, a gallon <laughs> ice cream jug, and that was it. And then she bought me my first bait caster. My, my buddies laugh at me because whenever I backlash, I hand my rod to her, and she picks my backlashes out. Well, she's her. a good fisher person. Oh, yeah, yeah. She yeah. catches more fish than I do. You know. I hope, hope she's not listening. To oh, I hope she, she is. She can get her, get her up early this morning <laughs> just for this. But, uh, again, yeah. we're talking to Peanut Kwan, uh, Peanut Craft Lures, which uh, has uh, been such a friend to fishing rodeos, uh, whatever it might be, and, and to this show. And uh, talking about a family that loves fishing, 
and I knew that uh, I knew that bass fishing is your passion now mm. uh, for that, but you didn't. I don't think you ever thought when you were going to Skyview Academy, and people will say Skyview Academy. Yes, it was a very prominent school back in the seventies. Early 70s? Uh, now, uh, not now, you're, now you're telling my age. No, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no. You've got a lot yeah. of contacts from Skyview. I do. But I you do. never expected to be this uh, well, once you got into your real job. No. Which, uh, I can talk about it. I'm, I'm a retired law enforcement officer. Okay. I want I, you to say it. I didn't I, know if I, I worked with the federal government for, I was a federal agent for almost 30 years. For almost 30 years, and, which um, during that time you did a lot of, uh, I did a lot of stuff. You did a lot of stuff, <laughs> didn't you? All, I, I can say that. That's all he can say. But, uh, he lived, a, a pretty, uh, dangerous life and things along this line. Uh, but, uh, fishing, uh, became the, the family. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, we're a small company. Like you said, we, we work from our house, and we're a small company. And uh, we lay low, but we sell a lot of jigs. Most of the jigs in this area come from us. They uh, do, don't they? The local folks know us. Um, we hand pour our jigs. Yeah. The quality's there. And I tell them, if I send you 100 jigs, you're going to have barbs on 100 jigs. I've touched that jig five times before I, it's packaged up. So you the do. quality's there. What we offer different from everybody else is we do them in different hook sizes. Yes, all right. If you can get a, a 30 second ounce in the springtime, the fish are shallow. We do a 30 second ounce with a number two. Wow. 16th ounce, we're doing up to, to one alt, two alts. And now with the shaky heads for bass fishing, we, yeah. we put a three alt, four alt hook in them. Uh. And um, we're getting there. We're, we've actually been talking to Bass Pro for the last two years, trying to work a deal with them. Keep working. Um, yeah. they're, they're wanting jigs with big hooks in them. But yeah. I, I'm scared because. Being a small company, I might have to hire somebody. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. You'd have to go out. Larry's, the... <laughs> Larry's going to have to come over and help me out. <laughs> out so of I'm the family and everything. Yes, uh, yes. But you can get your lures at Sportsman's Warehouse in South Haven. Yep, uh, in right. Any other place that we can find them? Uh, the Sports Corral, Holly Springs, three, yeah. 301. It's a, bait store, it's a gas station bait store. Yeah. Um, in and out, Gator Browns. Gator uh, Browns. We're, we're okay. all over. We're all over the mid south, right. and, and a lot of times our jigs, guys, the stores will buy them bulk from us. But they're still our jigs. So, are you, are you in primary are, tackle at all? Yes, I am. Let's About put Dave, that uh, put Dave's David a super in there. Guy. Dave, yeah. Dave's got some specialty swim bait heads we make. There you go. So, so there it um, is. Uh, Peanut Craft Lures, Peanut Quan. Thank you for actually coming in studio. Uh, didn't have to whisper on the phone or anything like that. Now, now that he's actually got that going, uh, thank you for being here. Thank hey, you, Larry. Frank Barton, surprise, surprise, surprise. Thank you for being here. What's going on at Barton Sports, uh, Barton Power Sports? Uh, what's going on in your motorcycle uh, today, uh, Saturday, next, anything? Next weekend, next Friday and Saturday, uh-huh. July 20th and 21st, we'll have the Indian demo truck that will be there those two days. We'll have about 20 bikes that will be doing demonstration Ooh. rides all weekend long. And a uh, big event happens once a year, and uh, we'll be uh, – uh, cooking food and having um, special that's uh, all on Mount special Mariah. prizes for for folks, and so out on fifty seven fifteen Mount Moriah Friday and, we'll, and Saturday, and we'll talk about that on next week's show. We too. can talk about that. Uh, next that week. and also the Hunter Retriever National Nationals are going to be in uh, Master Nationals going to uh, be in Oregon, and uh, you better leave tomorrow. Getting getting ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting ready. How many uh, dogs are we up to? Uh, right now we're about 650 and probably going to get another 75 or so. That's a lot of dogs. Before, in the next couple of weeks. All right. We don't want to miss you over here, voice of the Outdoors Delary Ray Show now. But uh, Avery Outdoors, uh, come by the store, the Superstore, and uh, you'll be open the Saturday today. Correct, correct. Uh, you know, like I said, it's never too early to start, you know, preparing for the for the season. I mean, no matter doves, you know, Got any ducks. ammo? Just a little bit. They got a couple of shells and a okay. couple of rounds. Okay, I just want to ammo, make sure that they got a little bit. That John Gordon, thank you. Greg Ratliff, thank you. Two more weeks with Greg, and we'll give a send off to him. Uh, next week's show, quickly, let me tell you that Frank will be in, and we have uh, lined up uh, uh, Legends of the Outdoors Hall of Fame founder and president Gary Mason, along with inductee Doug Miner of Strike King, Mark Medley. He is the CEO of Sw- Swing Sport, and I think I'm, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that. Bass Pro Patrick Walters will also be on next week's show. This is Larry Ray reminding you that I do each and every week. It doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport. And what, guys? God God bless bless the USA. USA.